So, hello there once again. And yeah, convention edition as you can see here. Booster mystery box. It's straight up directly before the pack from the Magic 30 Anniversary Special Menu Box Edition uh, with pretty much everything inside it, like one of these ones. So that's why I want to open this one just beforehand to, yeah, let's see what we can get out of it. And yeah, you can see it's a little bit more on the plasticky side, but that doesn't matter for the uh, inside. It's a pack made in the, uh, here it's made in the USA. Here is the coding and let's see. We naturally hope for the best. That means for the mana crypt and yeah. Let's hope this will come out of this nice little box. Although it's rather uncommon because yeah, we just have so many packages inside it and we do have 1700 whatsoever cards. And with that, yeah, we will start. As you can see, it's a little bit sunny on the, uh, on the side here. It rained very much the last days, but I want to enjoy a little bit sun. And now let's go over to pack a while. Interesting here is uh, we've got pretty much everything. So even the common ones can be of some value and really cool. So let's see, one new champion. We've got an exclude, cool card. Interesting that it's direct from Modern Horizon, so this box is still rather new. And out of the box it's a little bit uh, dirty, interestingly enough. Go inside a little bit more for you. Got a Dead Bridge Shaman, cool. Smash the Smithereens. Thornscape. Faisal Yami Maya, cool. <laughs> Mishra's Bauble, cool card. Hurricane and Memory Erosion, cool cards. So. You can see it here, very good. For cool and nice uncommon cards, we'll put these over here. And this stack, I do always hope I didn't oversee something of value, but I think with this, it's got something good. So this uh, will be the stack for cool and valuable uh, uncommon cards. So we've got a Territorial Hammer Skull, that's entry. The Ingester, Ether Snipe. These cards are really dirty, I think. Or rather, yeah, you, oh. can you see it? I think so, yes. It's a little bit, uh, not exactly dirty, but they do come with um, roll marks directly from the production, I think. Or rather, it's Black and uh, red cards, so I think those came from a special set. Faster Mute, cool card. The Lightning Talons, old school. We have Sandika Royal. Shieldbearer, Kintry Invocation. Sichiri Fitch. Crystal Shot, this is a cool card. Really like it for the set of Urza. <laughs> Grave Titan, cool card. And a Black Pistil Angel. Cool card. So, for this. One moment, we'll go over here that we have a little bit more space for you all. And for me. <laughs> so, now one, two. The Grave Titan, First Mythic, and the Pure Steel Angel. Cool cards, cool cards. Really like it. Number three. Hurricane, card that has seen a little bit of play, even if it's only for creature cards and each player. Uh, but it's scalable, so yeah, we can work with that. Countless uh, Gears Renegade. Interesting that the uh, Uncount is coming top and front. And these cards are really badly damaged. As you can see. Unfortunately, because I really like this set. 34 artifacts, cool cards. Many of those are really, really damaged, so unfortunately. Crippling Blight, cool card. Can't block. Very nice, like it. Storm Singer, Place Vengeance, Ancient Stirrings, always good. We've got an Ether Cast Knight, you have the Arbalest, Centaur Glade, ha, nice coat of arms. This is a card I like. This one is a cool, cool card for the rare slot. Interestingly, just one rare, didn't know. Always thought these packages would have at least two rares, but it doesn't seem so. 
Got an ancient stirrings, always good. Put it over here. Package number four, I think. Also, I haven't opened up so many of these mystery cards, so yeah, let's see. The list is, as said, way too big to know everything. So just uh, the really very uh, highly uh, thought after cards, those are in my knowledge. But let's see. Seek the Horizons, we've got Clip Rings. Tith Drinker with Extort, very nice card. Jungle Shrine, Exsanguinate. Exsanguinate. Interesting. Nice. And a crop. <laughs> very. Okay, and I have to admit, these cards do pack some good cards. Coat of Arms, a Tith Drinker is a cool card. Really like these ones. So, pack number five. Pure Steel Angel is a really, really cool card. So, let's see, we do have a Defiant Strike. The course, those are cool. Searching Marco, Spire Gardener, Dusk Legion Sealot. You have to flicker this one. Cool card. And these are really, really the damage directly out of box, unfortunately. Oh well. Still, cool cards, nice to open. Hedge Mage, Icy Manipulator, cool card. Sadistic Hypnotist. I really like these cards. Also, for from the naming, from, from the uh, graphics, you can't find these anymore, unfortunately. Yagmoth Testament, also nice. Gravecrawler, much played. Still, even in uh, today's times. But with the reprint, the value shrank down. Just a tiny, tiny, tiny little bit. We've got the Soul Summons. So the Sky Marcher, it marches through its divination while it's ending for the Kerbut, comes to a boiling earth while the Lanoir Elves go into the overgrown battlement. Very nice. Ally Mirror, Manatith, cool card. Deep Scoglade, also reprinted just uh, shortly in Double Masters, I think. Manatith, cool card. Oh well. The Elves, always cool. Cool and old school. Let's see, let's see, and let's hope. Very first, Path to Exile from... I don't even know which kind of edition this is. Well, still, very good. Condescend, it's a cool card. We've got a painful lesson to learn. Giant Spectacle. Undo Giant, we've got a Curse and Tusker. Kiss of Amisha. Juggernaut, old school card, new game. Goblin game, and an all is dust, very nice. Those are two very cool cards, especially the Goblin Game. <laughs> very, very old school. It's around the time where I started Magic for the first time. Really, really like these cards. <laughs> One could really have fun while playing in Apocalypse and just shortly after Ursa's uh, Legacy and Ursa's Saga. Those were good times. Those were really, really cool times. Got a Bond of Faith. An excavation elephant, cower in fear, galvanic blast, very good for uh, the, all the artifact decks. Kalani heart expedition, Kokot, soothsayer, alchemist vial, thieving magpie, and a stunt double. Blood poet, put this over here. Stunt double is a cool card. So we are on number, I think nine. Should be number nine, it's the second uh, spot that we are open, uh, opening now. We've got an arrest of seal. Singing Bell Strike. The archetypes are really cool cards. Even if they are a little bit expensive, but uh, once they lay down, it's very good. Sacral Tribelder. That's a big, uh, rather uh, expensive card from the soul set. Bookcase. Oracle of Nesters. And very good, Sword of the Animist. Really like this one. So, let's see. We've got the Sword, we've got Oracle, and the Sakura Tribe Elder. 
go over here, put this one out. Let's see, we do have the Wing Shepherd. Emergency uns uh, emerge unscathed, scathed, don't know. At Airmancer, Miracle Youths, Kabu coming back now. Literant Crumbling Necropolis for the Grixis, and an Archangel and a Fibble Thip. <laughs> Quite classical, the Archangel. Old school, very, very old school, very nice. And good to play. So, number 11. Just for the fun of the game, directly into the light. Wall of Thousand Cuts. Playing walls are always good. Dark Steel Mutation, very, very nice card. Very good for commander sessions. As you can just put out pretty much every commander with that. Sullivan Bounty. Good Leyland. Blasted Landscape. Greater Gargadon. Tempt with Discovery. And from the Mall Drifter. Can put these both down here. Can still see everything, very nice. This one goes over on the nice stack. Now I really have to say, it is really fun to open these cards. Very much many and more old cards. Battle for Zendy card that we have here. I do hope you don't mind the lighting right now. But I really, really enjoy it in the sun. Eternal Thirst what, that we have here. Got a Hammer Hand. Summit Prowler. Wolfkin Bond. Combo Attack. Implement of Malice. Weathered Wayfarer in the old school version. Nice. And a Reality Scramble. Those are cool cards. Berry Land. A <laughs> Cloud. <laughs> Even if, uh, as well, if you see this uh, graphics of these decals. The Weather Wayfarer just came out in Double Masters 22 as a promo card and as a normal card, so um, it came back once again. But still, it's a very, very good card, really good playable. And yeah, hope you can enjoy these uh, special cards. Especially as I have seen in the new version of it, but this old graphics, I still uh, yeah, love them. Soul Parry. This is Humbling and Clearing the Mind. March of the Drowned, cool card. Old School Fireball. A gut shot, very good. Goblin Burrows. Very nice for Goblin decks. And a Curse of Crufix. And well, this one is also a very, very, very cool card. So I can put this down here. These ones are just for the fun because they are very good to play. And yeah, I just uh, recently uh, brought up some kind of semi-modern able deck and the gut shot here, yeah, it's, let's say like this, it works. <laughs> Bless Spirit, Quartursa, Rekshel, oh, the Blood Artist, very good, Crest Through, also cool card, Beast Within, this one is really nice, really liked also, Whispers are Cloaked. Trun, the last troll. Interesting, didn't know that. Grasp of Fate. And Innocuous Insect. So, very interesting. Grasp of Fate on the battlefield for each opponent. Exo ah, interesting. Fun little card. And Trun, the last troll. Can't count that. Can we target? Okay. So, spells or abilities. So, this one is hexproof. Interesting. And regenerable. Very, very nice. I think these ones for the uncommons. So very interestingly wise, um, here are many and more uncommon cards inside that are, that do have significant value. So the mystery boosters, they are nice. They are really, really cool to, uh, to open. Also a fun little experience. We do have a ghost blade idol on. And the idle ones are always uh, good, se uh, good sets. Enchantment creatures. Infest, very nice. Expedite. Fall of the Hammer. Rock Smallers. Terminate, always also good. 
fendilated wall. Don't even know if I'm killing masks. Whelming wave and wrath of sod. Put a mana bond counter on that. <laughs> can all can go over here. Put these ones here, but the infest goes here. Very, very nice. So, second spot, last pack. So, we should be on number 16. We've got a bar grace. Nice. So, let's see, build to last. That's a contradiction. The eldest reborn, evil card. <laughs> Bloodlust insider, eternal witness, always good. Has Mantis. Nice. Look at it. Look at it. <laughs> Edged Oracle. Sunburst. The Sapphire Charms. So the Charms are cool. As well as the Night Howler. The Howler. It's Howling. Woo. Very cool. These cards I really, really like. So, last spot. And I'll go up with it a little bit. And go over later on. Just two mosaics. I hope there will be a little bit more. Especially as these mythics I don't think uh, should be of a high value. Crest of the Grave Lord. Don't even know that. And a tracker. Briarhorn. A Terran Elemental. Goblin Burrows. Oh yeah. Atreus God of Passage. That's a good card. And a wasteland. <laughs> Three little sovereign and Atreus. And Atreus is a really cool card. This one works very, very good. So, Atreus, as long as you devotion, whenever an artifact is your own dice, return it to your hand. Yep, very nice. Very, very nice. You have to play with this one with a uh, shield red. Your opponents will loathe you. <laughs> Frantic Search, good card. Singer Vampire, interesting from its graphics. Also, what I really like are these rather old or older graphics. Those are still stunning. Esper Charm, Charms are another mo uh, bobble. And Tolerant. Oh, yeah. Well, Tolerant, our beloved card. Time Sieve. Take an extra turn. Okay, I think you can abuse this. <laughs> Spare charm. we we'll go over here. I really like the setup and all the cards that we can acquire from the set. This one is really a lottery, but still very, very fun to play. Pondering Mage with the Ponder cards. Very cool. Jason of Phantasm. Very, very, very good card. We do have Shriek Maw, Noxious Dragon, Aggressive Urge, Sigiri Refuge once again, a Metamorph and a Mind Shatter. Nice cards. Really can't say anything against these ones. Those are played, those are used. We can work with that. Definitely. <laughs> so we do have Eyes in Disguise, Cast Out, Negate. Give us Frost Mage, Commune with Nature, Pride Mage, Sakashima the Imposter and Mikloth. Nice. Those are also rather very, very cool cards. Well, Mikloth can be played pretty much everywhere because you always get Sapparlings. And that is very, very nice. And a Sakashima the Imposter as well. Yeah, it's known. You can play with it. That's nice. Oh, what is with that? Oh, well, okay. Works. We have Knight of Old Benalia. And we do see a Knight of New Benalia in the near future. So, third of that. Jungle Shrine, Phantasmal Dragon, and a Vigor. Okay, Vigor is nice. Vigor is a very, very cool card. It really works very well. And just needs to be fit in pretty much any Anima deck. <laughs> or, the or rather in any counter deck. Marked by Honor. Sir Eleanor. Maximize Altitude. It's got a takedown. 
before you actually shard. Shardless Agent and Uncommon, very nice. Nemesis for a reason. And Zelvala, Heart of the Wild, with a bushwhack. Very, very nice. This one was a rare in Modern Horizons. Oh, I've got it as an uncommon. Also good. Still can work with it. It's nice. So, pre last uh, set, uh, package. Bring 10,000 arms. Return to the Earth. Blasted landscape. We've got a Tinkerer. And then Tower Shell and Smelt Hurt and Saw. Nice, nice. Blasted landscape. Put this over here. And the very last pack. Still the hope for the Mana Crypt. <laughs> so, medication puzzle. Putting to sleep everything. Alicia's Vanguards. We've got a Gutter Snipe. Cultivate. Implement of Malice. Phantom Centaur in a interesting print run, I'd say. And a Mimic Vet. And a Time Sidewalk. Interesting, interesting. Don't know, is this uh, active normal or did they miss some kind of printer? Okay, let's see. I'll have to see uh, whether this one is uh, special or whether that's quite normal in this package. Still, I've got these four mythics. Salvala is also rather cool. For the rares, you can always uh, see once again. Mimic that. Let me see for a reason. We've got a Vigor, that's cool. Mikoloth is cool. These two are cool. Time Thief. Night Howler is cool. Grasp of Fate, a Cursor, Wayfarer, we've got a Fibblethip, Oracle, Sword as well, uh, always nice. Yeah, I could I can say with this, there were very, very, very nice rares inside. And even for the uncommons and commons, even though I think this one should be, I don't know, I still think this one is a misprint, but for the other ones, yeah. Mishra's Bauble, we do have two times. We've got an Infest, a Whisper Silk Cloak, an art, a Blood Artist, even if it's reprinted. Sakura Tribe Elder is cool. Ice Manipulator. Here's the other one. Terminate, Manatith. Yeah, I can really say I really like this box. Thanks for watching.